Hey yo, hey yo, it's DJ the Diva coming at you with another video. You guys, um, I just wanted to um, come at you and clarify some things. Um, for one, um, my intermittent fasting. What it has done for me is it is has um, cut down on like indigestion um, I allow myself an allotted amount of time to consume my food and then after that all I can have is something to drink so that has helped me tremendously um, I've um, got my new jug and which it is 80 ounces and I fill that with spring water and right now I have lemon and lime and cilantro in it and it's making my water quite tasty um, I had my protein shake today this morning and that's all I've had but um, I'm getting ready to consume um, dinner and I'm going to have a cup of well a cup and a half of no a, just a cup just a cup of um, cottage cheese and a banana cut up in it and yesterday I showed you guys where for dinner I made a burrito and I used some of the salad from the salad mix I had bought, um, the bag of salad, where it had everything in it when I did the grocery haul. And what I didn't use for the burrito is in here. So that's like 550 calories. You got the carrots, the um, radishes, uh, the different types of lettuce, the tortilla chips. Um, I have some seeds. I have some raisins. Um, and red onion in there and I have it setting because I like mine room temperature I don't I don't like cold foods so got that I got my 80 ounces more of 80 ounces wa of water and like I told you guys I am um, sometimes when I'm busy or I work, work late or whatever I don't do my workout when I get home but I will do my cool down and I'll do the cool down longer than I would had I worked out so I still get my stretching and some activity in there and you know um, especially on days where I've had so much activity at work and I'm putting in you know maybe 20 30 steps a day um, yeah so Today I can relax a little bit. I can do my cooling thing. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys that I'm drinking tons and tons of water. I'm watching what I eat. I'm watching at what times I eat. Um, what else did I want to tell you guys? Uh, what else am I doing? I'm doing the sweat band uh, around my stomach. I'm doing that. Um... And back later doing a sweat band around my stomach um, that's helping um, but 90% um, of it is diet um, but the exercise is going to throw it right over the top um, I know from previous years because I used to be a workout fiend for previous years I um know what works for my body and what doesn't, what exercises will accelerate my weight loss and change my body dramatically. And that is what, that's what I'm doing. You know, I picked the certain exercises and I did record that for you guys. And I did uh, let you guys see one of my workouts. And, um... Yeah, I pretty much do an exercise for a week, routine for a week, and then I 
either change it, modify it, or I add new ones onto it. So you guys will be getting a little bit more. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, you know, got to change your lifestyle. You know, especially when you're getting older, you got to change and modify things and adapt to uh, what you're physically able to do now. Illnesses, um, time constraints, you know, family, all that comes in, into um, work when you're deciding things to do. And it helps that you know, I, my honey is so loving and supportive and encouraging and um, just a blessing. I couldn't ask for a better man. So, I, you know, I prayed for that one. And he prayed for me because he knew <laughs> what the prize really was, honey. They don't call me anointed or diva for nothing. <laughs> I'm joking, y'all, but. He is a blessing. Um, and I'm a blessing to him, and I know I am. Know your worth, honey. Know your worth. And, and you won't get nothing less when you do, you know, you got to um, demand and command, you know. But, yeah, uh, water, time constraints on eating, um... And it's all part of self-care. You know, if you make that a constant daily part of self-care, you'll see a result so fast, so quick. And But uh, it, what's funny is other people see it, actually see it before you do. Um, I know everybody's seen it. <laughs> you know, everybody's commenting, everybody's seeing it. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. I enjoy it, you know. But it's it's nice to know that your hard work isn't going unnoticed, you know, and that it's actually working, <laughs> working, you know. But, yeah, getting that, you know, operation, get snatched, you know, not only for the summer, but for life, you know, to live a healthier and life, a longer life, you know. That's the goal, <laughs> to be here and be here, but not only be here, but be healthy and be able to live, but not just merely be alive, but be able to live and live an abundant life like we're supposed to. But in saying that, wash them hands, honey. Wash them hands. Use that sanitizer. Use your gloves when you go out. Use a mask when you go out. Um... Stay home when you're supposed to. You know, for those of us who work, don't dilly-dally out there. <laughs> you don't want to run it to Corona the Boogeyman. His name is Corona. <laughs> so, um, you know, I'm not making light or anything because people are really dying from this. But that's why I want to try to get it out there with a little bit of humor. Be safe. Do what you're supposed to do. You know, stay in as much as you can. You know, be clean. And everything be clean. I make people take their shoes off outside my door. You know, I got a little basket. My porch is safe. Ain't nobody running up there to steal no shoes or nothing. I don't live in that kind of neighborhood, honey. No. You know. Um, I live on the same block as my mayor. So, no. No, no, no. <laughs> um, no. I Wash your hands. I got sanitizer right on the, on the little desk when you first come in. And slippers for anybody. Clean, new slippers. A basket of them for anybody that stepped foot in my house. So, um... Yeah, we're really taking it serious over here. We're really taking it serious. It's a serious thing. It's an epidemic. And we, you know, there's so many people that think, I can't get it, I can't get it. You can get it. Everybody can get it. You know, I heard, if you're black, you can't get it. Come on now. Come on. I've been saying for years, even with breast cancer, 
You can't put an age limit on that. You can't put an age limit on a disease, a virus, or anything. It's going to get who it's going to get. So y'all be safe out there. I'm praying for you all. Continue to pray for me and mine. And please like and subscribe. Uh, comment. I love you guys to life. Act blessed. Talk blessed. Walk blessed. And be a blessing to who? Be a blessing to the Lord by blessing somebody else. I'll see you guys in the next video. I didn't show you, told you about my intermittent fasting. I uh, told you about my weight loss. I didn't, since the end of January, I didn't already lost over 20 pounds. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And it's being able to be seen. I, uh, uh, people are noticing my weight loss. I didn't start exercising now. I didn't gave y'all the 411 on that. What I eat. Um, the amount of water I'm drinking, the amount of steps that I'm taking a day. I'm sharing my life with you. Share yours with me. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Did you out? <laughs> Bye.